Call of Duty, I hate you. So those of you on Facebook, you'll have seen uh, the message I'm putting up from uh, a friend of mine called Alex who's um, had an obsession with killing half of Nose Safari Park because um, he's on a shred diet and obviously you're allowed high protein to get the meat in there and he's gone a bit extreme with it. So what we have is a meat feast. Crocodile. What's that one? Water buffalo. Kangaroo. Camel. Python. Look at that. That's weird. Zebra. I can't believe we killed the zebra. That's pretty bad. Gazelle. Horse. Courtesy of Tesco. Cow. Everyone knows that one. And wildebeest. This is on bison. Horse. Now we're on to guinea fowl. Guinea fowl, how's it cooked? Just roast it. Roasted. Roasted with a bit of smoky bacon over the top. Yeah. Roasted with smoky bacon on the top. Currently we chopped them too. Thank you. What part's that? Part of the leg. Breast, I think it was. The bed breast? Leg over. Guinea fowl. What is guinea fowl? It's a kind of bird. I should it up. That is nice. We don't know it is, we killed it anyway. Okay. That is nice. The leg fish. Is that chicken? A bit of breast. Pretty much like chicken. There's a bit more gamey finish to it. Like a pheasant. It is guinea fowl. That's what it looks like. How's it Another animal dead! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so the bird is a guinea, guinea fowl. Like a really, really moist chicken. Very lean. Even the leg meat, really, really lean. Um, and we're eating it with almost American style crispy bacon. That was roasted on the top. So, guinea fowl, cost chicken. So, next up, camel. <laughs> that is a pretty red meat, isn't it? It's a really deep colour. So we've got camel, macros for camel. 1200 grams, 22 protein, only one gram of fat. That's a lean ass camel. We are cooking, we're grilling it, seasoned. Seasoned. Seasoned with? Salt and pepper. Seasoned with salt and pepper. We're letting the heart on set that. And yet, Elizabeth and I, we used to have a woman's lesson to have that album. Camel. Looks quite nice golden colour. It's got quite pink in the middle. Smells like a nice steak. And it made me chuckle because mummy's still having a Cooked. Yeah. Camel. Looks pretty. Pretty much like steak, a really thick, chunky piece of steak. Alex is working our specially devised delivery system. Instead of bread, we use cheese, wrap whatever your central favourite is, and then add another bit of healthy cheese. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> so we have camel. But we still crease over watching this, uh, watching, thinking of it, in the... It's really nice. It tastes like a really good beef. Well, you know, but I'm having a conversation. Again, I would say like... And there was a lot of arsenals here. Like a really, 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 really not chewing, soft, meaty. Really, really funny, really, really nice. And yeah, do you just remember, like steak. Uh, a really, really nice piece of steak. Camel goes... Bison camel at the moment. A bison camel, also a horse, and then python. That's the hierarchy so far. A guinea fowl, good juicy chicken.
we don't have enough space on chicken. Is this a dog? What about the macros? No, it's not a dog. This is what they look like when they're alive. It's got two, it's got Dead. Alive. Dead. Anthropomorphic macros. What does that mean? Per hundred. 22 and 2. A lot like the camel. So, this has been seasoned with. Seasoning? Salt and pepper seasoning. Is this on? Yep. We're just doing it dry. Oh, no, hold on. Oh, sorry, Mike. Go. I'm Googling. This is what we do. And it's seven weeks after we train. Um, so, it's got human characteristics. So, like, are you not talking about the fringes? It's a personification of human characteristics. Really thick, really soft. That's a real word. Meat. That's a really yes. nice color. So a really high heat. Fill it up, fill it up, tell me what it tastes like. This is Springbok rum. That's an ass of a Springbok. I think it should be a bit rare. So what's this one? Oh, Springbok. It smells absolutely delicious. Oh, that's blushing. That's not bad. That's good. Oh my god, the texture of the meat is unbelievable. See, now Jody might be for it. Not a fucking fun. Uh, right, so we've got a spring bock. The ass of a spring bock. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. Really, really, really melts in your mouth. Proper sirloin style cut. Quite gamey. Really meaty. That is definitely thumbs up. That's on a par, if not a bit above the bicep. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Springbok ass, thumbs up. Right, this is Tiz. Tell us about the. We are now on. <laughs> zebra. Everybody's favourite animal from what? 28 grams of protein, 6 grams of fat. 28 protein, 6 fat, 0 carbs. And we're currently putting the stripes back on the zebra. <laughs> we're putting the stripes back on the zebra. Zebra alive. Zebra dead. Alive. Dead. <laughs> well, that's how you always tell the story. Zebra. <laughs> that is really good. Again, very, very, very steak like. But really sirloin. Really juicy. Really rich. But so light to my favorite. Like a really, really Really tender cut of beef. That is good. I think that trumps camel. I think we have a new number one. Hey. Oh. oh yeah. Go. We've had a few of these. I'm currently sat have with a camel, horse, and springbok ass. Whole wheel pizza bread and pepper slice. We're about to eat some kangaroo. Which you'll find out what it tastes like in about 10 minutes. Other than that, we've had our asses thoroughly handed to us on Call of Duty. And I'd like to add at this point, all of you people that watch my channel and watch me play Call of Duty, I hate you. Because I can learn to play ping pong in a day, ski in a day, Kill and cheese. tennis. Kill it cheese. Yet, yeah, I get my ass handed to me on Call of Duty by that young brother snapper. <laughs> and I reckon I died about 30 times and killed him twice. So, uh, Killy cheese. Killy cheese. That's the reason for that. Jesus, Killy <laughs> cheese. I'm, I'm eating Ooh. the last of the camel. Killy cheese. Killy cheese. In, in a defiant resilience against Call of Duty. Call of Duty, I hate you. Lying.